y'all welcome to my youtube channel little ways little things i know it's been a hot minute since i've uploaded my video i wasn't able to upload my regularly scheduled video last week because i spent most of last week in a dentist chair with my face all numbed up i had some weird dental issue that needed to be taken care of so it was kind of a bummer week but i'm back on track and ready to keep going with my fall schedule and today that means that we're going to be cooking spaghetti squash if you don't know what spaghetti squash is it is a very yummy squash that when you cut it in half after you cook it you can um, use a fork to um, kind of pull it apart and it makes strings almost exactly like noodles so if you're trying to avoid gluten or pasta it's a wonderful alternative to noodles they turn out perfectly just like spaghetti that's why they call it spaghetti squash the problem with spaghetti squash and me has always been that i love the taste but i hate to cook it because it's really hard to get through this outer kind of skin it, it you wouldn't think a squash would be hard but it's almost like trying to cut through a pumpkin but even a little tougher it's really hard to get through so i was reading on the internet that you can cook the spaghetti squash in your instant pot first that will make it easier to slice and it will still taste very yummy so we're going to give that a try today the first thing that I want to do is put some venting holes into my spaghetti squash. So I'm using a little paring knife, but be super, super careful because the squash is so tough. It's so hard to get through. You might even want to use like a big fork just to poke holes in it instead, or just be super careful that the knife doesn't slip and cut you. I put about seven little venting holes in the squash so that it'll steam. Then after I put the liner in, I'm going to put the little trivet it in that just came with my instant pot and I just want to make sure the spaghetti squash is not sitting directly on the liner so I put the little trivet down then the spaghetti squash and then I'm gonna put one and a quarter cup of water inside of my instant pot the next thing I'm gonna do is close it up and then put about 25 minutes on the instant pot just on the regular pressure cook setting my instant pot has all kinds of settings but i find that i mostly just use the plain little pressure cook button and then add the number of minutes so i press pressure cook and then 25 minutes most importantly you want to make sure that your lid is on sealed and not venting while i'm waiting for the spaghetti squash to cook i'm going to make up a really nice cheese sauce to put on the top of it I'm going to start by thinly slicing this sweet onion and if you don't like onion you can always leave this out there's going to be some garlic you can leave that out as well feel free to change it up however you want but we like onion so I'm slicing up about a quarter of this onion very thinly and then I'm going to be putting it in a pan with a tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of garlic that's what I have over on the counter. I also have a couple handfuls of fresh spinach, um, about a half a cup of heavy cream, a tablespoon of cream cheese, and a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, along with some salt and pepper. The Starbucks Cafe Mocha is not one of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna add the onions and the garlic to the frying pan with the olive oil and just keep sauteing it for a long time until the onions get really nice and caramelized and the garlic gets brown. This garlic that I'm using is out of a jar. I've never used that before. I'm sure you could just use like two cloves of fresh garlic, but I'm gonna give this a try and see if it's any easier for me. It takes about eight minutes, I would say, for the onions to get real caramelized and the garlic to get brown and toasty. We don't want to cook it too fast because you'll burn the garlic and that's gross. All right, so once the onions have caramelized, you pour in the spinach. And like I said, I just filled up that bowl with about three handfuls. But however much spinach you happen to have left from your salad, you can use more or less. It's up to you. If I did this recipe again, which I know I will because it's so yummy, I'm probably going to double the handfuls because 
The spinach, as you can see, cooks down a lot, and I thought that the squash could definitely use some more. So the next time I make it, I'm going to add probably two or three more handfuls of the spinach. Next, I'm adding some heavy cream. That's a half a cup of heavy cream and a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of cream cheese. That's probably more like a tablespoon and a half. And you just kind of melt the cream cheese and get the cream and the cream cheese kind of incorporated then and melted. Then I'm adding some salt and pepper and that's just to taste however much you like and just keep getting everything all melted. The next thing I'm gonna do is add the Parmesan cheese and again, kind of keep the heat kind of low because you don't want everything to get scorched or burnt. This sauce was just so divine. It smelled so good. The garlic and the onions in the house just made the house smell so delicious. And all of those cheeses, make sure you use like freshly grated Parmesan cheese, it really, really ups the flavor. All right, I think my spaghetti squash is finally done. So as soon as the um, timer goes off, I'm going to do a quick venting, being very careful. I've got that dish towel over the little venting thing so that it won't just spew water all over my cabinets. Then I'm going to take the lid off and I'm gonna take the squash off um, out of the Instant Pot with some tongs. And then I'm going to cut it up. The problem is you wanna let your squash cool. For at least 10 minutes maybe even a little bit more i was really in a hurry to taste this because it just looked so good that i started cutting up the squash as soon as it came out of the instant pot and i burned one of my fingers that's how hot it was but anyway try to get the squash cut in half lengthwise and then i've already taken the seeds out of one side of the squash but i'm going to show you how i do it out of this other side you just take a spoon and can you see how hot that is that's why i have to use the dish towel to hold it i really should have let it cool but i have no patience so i'm going to take the spoon and just get out all of the um little spaghetti squash parts that have um, seeds in it. It's just like you're cleaning out a pumpkin at Halloween. You just take out all of those parts. And once you start to get the loose little um, spaghetti out of there and all the seeds, then you're um, down to the kind of the squash part, then you're ready to go. So once you get it all cleaned up, you can kind of scrape it with a big fork away from the edges and it just starts to shred up like magic. It's making spaghetti basically. Um, I think it's so cool the way it does that and it's so fun. So I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to the squash and then I'm just gonna pour that sauce all over both of them. Um, I'm going to pour half on one and half on the other, even though I wasn't exactly precise about it and one squash got a lot more. Needless to say, that was my favorite squash. So after I get the um, sauce on it, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit extra Parmesan cheese just for some extra color and put it in the broiler. I First I put it on a sheet pan and then put them in the broiler and that's about 550 for three minutes. Just three minutes. That's all it takes. Don't walk away and leave it because the cheese gets brown and it just looks gorgeous. So there it is. I think it's so lovely, but it again is super, super hot and I couldn't resist fooling with it because I just wanted to taste it so bad. But if I were serving this, I would put it on a big serving platter like that and I would cut it into fourths just like I'm doing. And I just think it is a super pretty side dish for this time of the year. And your guests can shred it up and mix it in with the cream. And that's kind of the way I ate mine for lunch that day. And it was just super fun and super yummy. Another cool thing that you can do with spaghetti squash is put like butter and brown sugar on it or taco meat and cheese or spaghetti sauce with Italian sausage, anything like that on top of the spaghetti squash is so yummy. So now I'm gonna kind of just give it a try to taste it because I just couldn't wait. So I'm kind of mixing up the um, little cream sauce that I have on there, the cheese sauce, and then I'm shredding some more of the squash. 
And as you can see, the texture is just like spaghetti noodles. I swear it is so weird, but it does taste a lot like spaghetti and that cream sauce was so good. Just the right amount of salt and cheese. So I'm giving you a little closer look so you can see that texture. And yep, it definitely tastes so delicious. If you wanna try this recipe and you don't have an Instant Pot, I am gonna put some instructions in the description box down below so you can see how to make a spaghetti squash without the Instant Pot, but I am gonna include this recipe down there as well. So thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video and give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel.